So guys, I've got the One UI 2.1 update from my Note 10 Plus. You may have not gotten it, but you can check by manually updating the software. Anyway, let's talk about everything that's new. First of all, if you go into messages, you can now apply a gradient background to every conversation. You can choose from all these colors or you can choose a wallpaper from the gallery. You can also create categories and organize your messages by moving them into those categories. So it just makes it easier for you to find the messages you're looking for. Coming to the camera, there are a bunch of changes. First off, you can long press the shutter key to start taking a video. And that's normal because even Instagram, Snapchat, they all function the same way. Next, you can swipe down to take burst shots. So that's interesting. They've introduced a single take mode that we saw with the Galaxy S20. So that now makes its way inside the Note 10 as well. There are a bunch of modes. For example, they've introduced Pro Video. With that, you basically get manual control over the scenario. So you can change um, white balance, exposure. You can play around with hue, saturation, tint, and temperature, saturation to get a very good filter look that you want. And you can obviously change the aperture values as well as ISO. So generally speaking, you just get more control over video recording. In hyperlapse mode, you can now shoot with a night mode enabled, which was not present earlier. So you just get better footage. They've also introduced my filters, again, something borrowed from the Galaxy S20. Essentially, you can pick up any picture and then it'll extract the colors from that picture to create a filter out of that. It's a pretty unique uh, method. And I think it's you know, if, if used well, you can come up with some really great pictures. Anyway, other than that, now you also have selfie tone for the front facing camera. So you can set cool, natural or warm tone. And the front video can now shoot in 60 FPS for both UHD as well as FHD resolutions. And if you see on the left, you now have AR zone as compared to AR emoji that was there earlier. So the AR zone just has more AR stuff. And now coming to the gallery, you'll see that there were only two icons in the gallery here for UI 2.0. But in UI 2.1, you've got these four things. So let me talk about that. This one here collects similar photos together and groups them. So, you know, a couple of screenshots that may look together can be coupled. It's quick for you to identify duplicate photos with this method. The motion photo icon allows you to select multiple photos and videos together and create a quick movie out of this. Now this feature is already available in UI 2.0. It's just that in UI 2.1, it's been brought out. So it's easier to access. Also, a new feature is that you can now zoom in and hit that icon to crop that exact zoomed in content and create a photo out of that. So it really works well if your picture is high resolution, which it is, even if you click from your own Galaxy Note 10. So it works really well for landscape photos like these. So you can zoom in, hit that crop icon, and it just creates a photo out of that. Oh, and by the way, search has improved quite a lot. You can now just say September or October, and it'll show you all photos that were taken in October. So, you know, everything in one place. And then if you want, you can further filter down by expressions or even by album names to narrow down to your photo. If you still use Samsung keyboard, here are a couple of improvements. First, if you're using light mode, you can go into style and layout and you can try new themes. The keyboard usually has a border, but now you have options to remove those borders for both light and the dark theme. This was not there in one UI 2.0. Next, you can also now search, translate, use Samsung pass and resize the keyboard. Using search, you could pretty much search for anything across your phone. So for example, I search for building, it'll show me emojis, it'll show me images that have buildings uh, from my albums, and even Netflix movies that correspond to building. You can search and share that. Then there's a translate feature. So you can translate pretty much any language to any other language. And it's good to have it along with the keyboard because that's probably where you need it the most. And then you also get to resize your keyboard to better suit, you know, your hand size. And by the way, most of this stuff is actually already there in, you know, Google keyboard, but now they've introduced that with Samsung keyboard as well. And now there's quick share, which allows you to transfer very heavy, large files very quickly. And you need quick share on both devices. So here I have a Galaxy S20 and I'm going to transfer a 500 MB large file using quick share to the Galaxy Note 10 plus. You can do that vice versa as well. And trust me guys, 500 MB, 
I just accept that on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the transfer happens. It takes less than seven to eight seconds and it's done. There is also music share now, which essentially allows two phones connected to the same speaker to play music. Of course, you can't play music simultaneously. That would just be garbage. But, you know, let's say that I've got both of these connected to the same speaker and the right one is playing right now. The left one is on pause. So I can now pause the right one, uh, play on the left one, and you know the, the speaker automatically switches. So this is essentially a music sharing feature which allows two phones connected to the same speaker to play their music. Quick one, but you also get a slightly different fingerprint animation. Uh, the other thing is initially, you know, you had like video call option which showed like that, but now you can go into settings, change that to duo by default if that's what you're into. And now when you dial a phone number, it'll give you the option to use Duo. And that's it, guys. Those were some new features that uh, the Note 10 Plus has received with the One UI 2.1 update. Obviously, all of this is applicable to the Galaxy Note 10, the S10e, the Galaxy S10, and the S10 Plus. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.